Hello guys and welcome back to Last of Top. We got wildfire and we defeated whites without any sort of dragon glass or valyrian steel which pretty much means we chopped them into so many pieces that their pieces couldn't move anymore. That that's it. The dust may might be alive cuz that's how we beat the whites. Oh yeah. And now to Castle Black. We're gonna speak to Mormon. and we're gonna see about this quest. And I'm gonna see what happens, because I've never done this quest before. So... Off I go. And then... Was this you paid to liquidate a debt? What? Okay, whatever. Uh... I might... Might try and take Kin's Land in as well. We'll see how well that goes, uh... I'll need to, you know, get more men. Or, you know, at least better men. I don't even know where I am. Where am I? Oh, there I am. Can tell by the banners! The Black Sword banners! Because I'm Sars Black Sword! I am Sars Black Sword! Carry on. Uh, can we get this island? No, this island is nothing. There's just giant bones there. But there's Bear Island. I could take Bear Island and hold it. Are you walking across the field when your foot is caught in a rabbit hole? You fall over. You as you fall over, you manage to twist your body. It's in a stabbing pain for your leg. You decide to rest a while. Of course. Why? Why would I like? No, I can just go through this. I don't know why this is Cyrus's voice now. Anyway, ignoring all the wildlings. Actually, no. These are just. Night's Watch people. The, the Night's Watch has probably got more... No. Night's Watch probably got more people in the surrounding area as broken men than they do in the Night's Watch. Anyway, what are we facing? Oh, a few of them now are mounted. A lot of them be mounted, actually. In which case, form up somewhere around here. You're so decisive, sir! Yes, I know. Right, here we go. Ho! Oh! Hey oh! Got my horse. No, no, you don't. Ha! Oh! It's like cutting through butter! Ha! Ah! Oh, they're cutting through me! Out of my way! Go, horse, go! That's a tree. Quick! Stab, stab that horse in the neck! Ha! Ho! Hee hee! What am I doing? Why am I the only cavalry unit? I should get off my horse because I'm just a big target. So I'm, st I'm still going at relatively good speed. That's what I get for having a Dornish steed. Anyway, they're all coming up. Can I go somewhere that won't get me killed? That's a big rock. Fine, I'll go. This is- that was your fault. That was entirely your fault. I'm trapped. I'm trapped here. Okay, dismount. I'm going on foot! I'm going on foot! Help! Wait, no, I don't even have my black sword guard with me. I can deal with this. I can deal with anything, I can deal with wildlings. Hold on, I can reach my line. I can reach my line! Oh, you know what? Just charge! God damn it. I don't know what- you swung like- Really wide there. Okay, someone get him. Oh, I stuck up my wildfire. <laughs> I need to change out for my bow. <sighs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I nearly died there. Fortunately, only one of my men have died.
Uh, and there's only seven men left, and I really wish I had mounted soldiers at this point. Or a bow. Because <laughs> now I'm just sort of here. Yeah, how do you like it when I get in front of your arrows? I know I, you've, you've never done it to me, but God, it's happened so many times. Also, Cyrus is bloody as hell. Anyway, let them run. Are you kidding me? This... This Garen just tried to kill me! Get back here! I take that! That's a challenge! Get back here, Garen! <laughs> you think you can escape? You think you can escape? Get back here. Tell boss. No, no. Ch challenge me to single combat! Come on! Stop that horse! Stop that horse! Ugh. Damn, Garen! Okay. Uh, I lost one Brevo. That was it. I can hire some armed villagers to bolster my men. Uh, I can get some halberts and two more men at arms. Two more elites. Another vanguard, I think. Yeah, we'll have two vanguards. I know I was just complaining that I didn't have any mounted soldiers, but I don't want just one mounted soldier, because then that one mounted soldier will die. So, we're going to keep going forward. I should probably sell my stuff. I, I'm going to go back. I'll have to sell my stuff. And I'll need to re equip my bow. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, word reaches you that villagers from Karn Hall uh, stole some cattle from Mount Stown Mill. Uh, though you don't know whether or not the rumors are true, you do know one thing. This seemingly minor incident has raised passions among the Riverlands, making it easier for them to go to War of the Reach if they want it. Well, probably not. Oh, Tumble Down Tower. Uh, a man you met on the road, uh tells you where to find a band of traveling mummers uh, recently arrived you decide to attack the caravan and steal their wares demand tribute help them on their way and gift them uh, demand tribute I got a hundred coins tumble down tower we're gonna go there okay we have a tumble down tower the tower is cracked and abandoned long ago I'm looking for Hodor or a broken boy. <laughs> Come on. There's gotta be someone here. I've already explored it, haven't I? Ah, oh, damn it. Anyway. I must have already been there. I'm fairly sure I already went there, actually. But, uh... Off I go. To White Harbor. Need to sell some stuff. Oh, which one's market? That one. Right. A lot of fur. But what I need to give you is... I'll keep my horses. You get this. Because I don't need it. Nah, I might need the bread. Because I'm a wildfire for a lot. Uh, sell, 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 sell. Sell, sell. Where did I get these Garens from? Some got them from the Wildlands. Uh... Right. Uh, thank you. There we go. Now! After all that time, I head to the Night's Watch to... T oh, I'm already here. <laughs> God damn it. Um, fine. Where is Commander Mormond? Hello. Do you know where Mormond is? There's no one here. Where is the Lady of Castle Black? I could actually attack the Night's Watch and, like, conquer the North first, but then that's a weird place to start for my kingdom. Plus, they still have a lot of men. And they're actually not bad. Oh. Come here. Dennis Malister. Hold on, who was that? Lord Commander! Do I know you? I am Cyrus Blacksword! Okay. Fame runs before you, yes. Uh... 
my lord, how can I be of service? The Wildlands are disappearing, Cyrus Blacksword. And we're hearing strange rumors of uh, from the Frost fans. Man's Raider is gathering all of his strength to him. Uh, but for what purpose, I do not know. Cutter Pike reports that queer lights have been spotted off the shores uh, close to Storworld's uh, point. And captured wildlings talk of dead fins in the woods. Well, first off, I've seen the well, I've seen the aftermath of the lights in the Iron Islands, and I've seen why uh, not wildlings, whites as well. I've also killed them. So the, it's all true. I don't like it. The Night's Watch been passing for too long. Rangers disappearing, and now Benjamin Stark is gone as well. We need to know what's happening beyond the wall. We're putting it uh, together a range group bigger than any seen uh, during my lifetime. We'll find out what's going on in the Frost Fans, and if the gods are good, we'll find Benjamin Stark. His nephew is currently procuring supplies for the journey through the Haunted Forest. Go talk to him if you wish to join our ranging. Okay. Really? Me? Talk to his nephew. Fifteen men. I need fifteen men. What if I read a hundred and twenty? Is there a man who knows nothing in here? No, not here. In the courtyard? Oh, I can visit the wall. Let me visit the wall. But what's the courtyard like? Some mounted nice watch rangers. Fine, visit the wall. Okay, the massive the wall is massive. The wall is a massive barrier of mostly ice stretching across the northern border of the Seven Kingdoms, separating it from the wildlands beyond. According to myth, there are old spells woven into it to strengthen it and keep creatures of magic of a magical nature, such as the others, from passing it. Uh, looking up, you can barely make out the tiny lights on the top, uh, showing where the rangers are guarding the wall. Climb the wall. I was already I've already been on the wall. I don't know what they're talking about. I've already been on the wall. <laughs> no, I cannot do that. Oh my god, it's Jon Snow! Eh. Yeah, I guess you look kinda like the guy. Nope. Real question is, can I do this? Nope, okay. <laughs> Just making sure. He definitely has plot armor. Jon Snow. Yes? I come to join the ranging. Ah, good. We'll need everything we can carry. Uh, game is scarce beyond the wall, and Walden's hardly grow any crops, but we need uh, able men. Anyone who can swell our ranks is welcome. We're leaving soon. Just need to get the last supplies packed down into the barrels, and get the last ravens in their, into their cages. Well, what about armor and weapons? I would expect you to bring your own. We all must. This is not going to be a pleasure stroll through the light, uh, light southern forest. If you wish to... Join this ranging, you better be prepared, otherwise you'll slow us all down. Okay. Well, since I'm more heavily armed than you, I think I'm fine. Yes, farewell. Okay, before you descend the wall, you take a good long look across the forest that extends northward. The Haunted Forest, the Wildlands call it. It's thick and heavy wood, the trees tangled and old. Join the ranging. The men of the Night's Watch are gathered in the castle yard, Young and old, some men missing fingers and ears, while others look fresh and untouched by the snow and cold. Mounted on sturdy garrons, most of them are clothed in thick furs and carrying battle axes, swords, and spears. They look a f like a f they look a frightsome lot. Uh, at the back of the castle yard is the supply train: bags of grain, cheese, pork, barrels of wine and ale, and a few dozen cages of ravens. Finally. The Lord Commander appears and the column of men start moving. At the front rides Mormont himself, followed by Thorin Smallwood, uh, Sir Malador Locke, and Jon Snow, his squire. Uh, uh, his squire. The back of the column is made up of the supplies and spare horses, watched over by two grim rangers on black-coated garrons, striking directly northwards. Uh, and the first target is an old village a few days from the wall, traveled to White Tree. The first thing you come across is an old weirwood, about half a league from the wall, old and gnarled. The face is uh, the face is carved into the evil into an evil grin, 
and the eyes are dripping with red sap. Moving on, the column of men arrives at a small village. As the men edge closer, it turns out to be completely abandoned, with three small hovels looted and empty. Derwin, one of the rangers, reports, uh, reports that he met the inhabitants not half a year ago, and they must have left recently. You arrive at White Tree, a small free folk village located northwest of Castle Black. To north lies water, possibly a lake, and to the west some small hills. The village consists of four tumble-down, one-room houses, which are surrounded, which surround a sheepfold and a well. The houses are constructed of unmortared stone and roofed with sod. Above the village, above the village towers an enormous old weirwood tree. Uh, its trunk is nearly eight foot wide, and its branches shade the village. Explore white tree. Okay, where is my fifteen men? Okay, so I'm actually beyond the wall. Legitimately beyond the wall. No Drown God teleportation powers or whatever I was using before. What do we got? Got a few people, actually. It's just a uh, tickle ground. No. Some dogs crawled atop of me during the night. My cloak was almost dry when one of them pissed on it. Uh, in it. Um, or it was Brown Bernard. Benar? Benar. Uh, have you noticed that the rain stopped the instant we had a roof above me? Uh, it will start again now that I'm back out. Gods and dogs alike delight to piss on me. At least you're alive. The dead are likely dull fellows, full of tenacious uh, complain complaints. Diff grounds. Is that one word or is that complaints the grounds? Complains the grounds too cold. That's probably complains the grounds too cold. So this weird amalgamation of a word that I just have never seen before. My gravestone should be larger. Why does he get more worms than I do? Snow as far as the eye can see. Climbed up into the tree myself to have a look. What about the wildlands? No sign of them. If any of the... Uh, or anything else for that matter. Just snow as far as I can see. Ah, it's Gren. Cold is what this is. We're beyond the wall. Yeah, but it was cold in the uh, south of the wall as well. This is just worse. Really bites my bones. Well, I'll just take you out now then, I suppose. Oh my- Can I really take Gren out right now? <laughs> I gotta stop doing that. <laughs> oh, John's gonna be mad at me. I just killed one of his best friends. Uh, oh, the wildlings attacked uh, out of nowhere. Ten of them. I fought them off myself, but... Oh my god. Okay, the weirwood is huge, towering over the village. A set of runes have been hung into the side, written in the old ton. Oh, it's god, I gotta hide the body of Gren, or make it look like someone else did it. It wasn't the random Pentosi lord that they brought with them. And where's my sword? Uh, my sword? My, my horse. Did I not bring my horse with me? Okay, what if I go this way? Oh, an old chest, half buried. Gloves, wild and arrows, and a one-handed axe. And what if I go further this way? I've explored it. Okay. Well, that's the end of this part, folks. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, excuse me while I bury Gren. So I'll see you next time. Later, guys.